Sam just went through your uh, pro day. How do you think you did today? I think I did good. I, I, I came out here. I wanted to show them I was, you know, athletic and, and could do multiple things. I feel like I, I did just that. I, you know, uh, I showed them I could bend well and, and you know, listen to coaching on the spot. So I feel like I had a good day. And it was a lot of fun. Do you have any tips from Cole and Marcus from last year? Oh, yeah. I, you know, I talked to those guys. They were telling me, you know, just can't expect anything, really. You just got to kind of react to the situation. And, uh, you know, those guys helped me out a lot when it came to just preparing for this day. Can you get any feedback? Uh, I haven't got any feedback. I haven't asked uh, about anything, but I will 100% figure that out. <laughs> any, any private workouts with teams scheduled? Uh, I, just, I know right now I have the local day at, at the Buccaneers uh, place next week, but uh, beyond that, I haven't had anything. What do you bring to a team? Uh, I think versatility. I think uh, I can play anywhere on the line, and um, you know my film speaks for that. And um, just being able to show them that I'm able to comprehend stuff on the fly out here is, uh, also speaks to that. So my biggest thing would probably be versatility and then leadership on top of that. How much positive are you? How confident are you that your dream will become reality? Oh, I know what happened. You know, I was this is what I was made to do, and uh, whether it's drafted or undrafted, I'm going to make a team, and uh, I'm going to make it really hard for them to try to get rid of me. How much were you looking forward to today when it finally came? You know, I, you know, this is this is what you dream about, right? You, you know, you get a college football, you want to you want to play professional football. You know, this day's going to come. So, you know, it's been six years in the making, basically, and uh, you know, it's one of those things where you only have it one time. So, I try to enjoy every bit of it, um, and you know, I just had a blast. Well, six years in the making. I mean, you were the longest tenured UCF players. I mean, I feel like you probably have a record for starts on the O line I, I, program, I, I, probably. So, can you reflect on your six years at UCF and what it's meant to you? I mean. Honestly, it's, I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be the first night day without coming this to coming to UCF. And um, you know, I'm just I, I'm, I'm blessed and I'm so appreciative of having the opportunity to play Division One football. You know, uh, and I'm just looking forward to continue that to the next level. Has it hit you that this chapter of your life is, uh, is actually over? Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I feel like after the Duke game, I was kind of like, oh wow, you know, I got it's like make or break. Like I always knew what I was going to do, and now it's kind of like you got. Go make a team if you want to continue to play football. So this definitely hit me. Uh, you know, I just say it's more motivation. What's your favorite UCF memory? Favorite UCF memory? Man, there's, I mean, it's too many to count. I mean, how, how can you really top? You know, something that I was actually felt like I was part of was you know the Florida game. You know, it's just being in your end state, uh, one of those big schools, and you know we took it to them and we ran it down the road, and that was that was probably the best the best time I had of football. What do you think that post Sam Jackson old line looks like going into 2023? Oh, I just, you know, I think, uh, I'm sorry, you said post O-line? Post Sam Jackson O-line. Oh, yeah. You're not oh, there it's going to be a lot oh, different. It'll be a lot about, different without you. Yeah, I mean, hey, I, you know, I think you got guys that are going to step up and, and become leaders. I know Lakai is doing a uh, great job of that, just bringing the young guys along. I know we got some monster transfers. You know, everyone's going to work their tail off. And I, I think just the culture that we built in the O-line of just being the hardest workers on the team and, you know, doing your job because, you know, the team counts on you. I just, I, it's always going to continue. So I'm, I'm excited for them. I'm looking forward to watching them play. How did Herb Hand make you better? Oh, he, he instilled so many great qualities. Uh, one of the best things being just, you know, helping me find my voice when it came to leadership. Uh, you know, I was very much growing up a uh, uh, lead by example kind of guy, but, you know, I learned that lead by example is just doing your job. So he helped me become more vocal, take control of the line, uh, and just really helped me come out of my show in the leadership aspect. What do you want now into the draft? Uh, you know, I'm just going to still keep in shape, probably take a week off, a little break thing. Uh, and, you know, stay in shape and just look forward to that draft time and then get ready to go play in the NFL. I know it's a long month until the draft. Uh, how are you going to keep yourself just, you know, in right. line and so excited for what's next? Uh, you know, just like I said, just, I'm going to put my nose to work and, and grind it out, and, you know, before I even know it's going to be the end of April. So look forward to it. You played tackle and guard mostly here. How much have you worked on snapping? Is that something you've oh, yeah. had as part I of it? With uh, Coach Ann, you know, he cross-trained me a lot, so I've been snapping for, like, the last two years. Uh, I haven't done it in a game, obviously, but if they need me to do it in a game, I'll do it in a game. Thanks, Sam. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank you. Good luck, Sam. Thank you.